Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rick, and I was going to originally do an unboxing, but I wanted to turn this into a tutorial because it's also going to be a request. So the unboxing is on Scutellaria, or Skullcap. Skullcap comes from the plant of the mint family. It can be found, you can actually grow it in your backyard, but uh, I, I do believe I've done an unboxing uh, on Skullcap extract from before. But uh, this is a great anxiolytic, and I'm noticing that in the clinic this week, uh, the last week of April, there is a bit of a surge or an uptick in people calling in and, and having to be evaluated or triaged for shortness of breath, cough, and fever. So whether that is the beginning of the Illinois surge or not, I don't know. Uh, it could also be a leftover from this weekend was one of the first beautiful weekends, really hot and sunny. So uh, I, I kept my six foot distance and mask. I don't know if other people went out, but this could be the result of unhinging that social distance. I don't know, we'll have to see what happens over the next ensuing weeks. Hopefully this is not the surge, but uh, please maintain. And that's the other plea, please. We can do our part as far as uh, how to help the hospitals by maintaining social distance, wearing a mask, wiping down stuff and not going out if you can avoid going out. I do take people out once a week. A uh, small group has okayed by the executive order uh, nine people, it was just small, to uh, exercise and keep health up because that's important too. And I'm not rationalizing to get around the rules, but I think that it is important to get out, but mindfully. So when we have people breaking the rules because they don't see anything, they don't ex uh, experience any uh, surge of any sort, you come to my world or go to New York and, and uh, see what what is going on. So. Because of uh, the issues with the increased coughs, upper respiratory tract symptoms, shortness of breath, uh, the oxygen hungry and the fever, I think it's important to calm, especially for the relatives of the people going to the hospital to get positive tests, because you, it, it's normal instinct to be thinking, am I next? And then when you see the uh, plight of people dying, you usually hear the words that when you get intubated, you're gonna die, and that's not the case. In New York especially, they're finding algorithms to get past intubation. And I think high flow oxygen, CPAP is awesome. Those of you who have CPAP machines, cool. I think hyperbaric oxygen therapy is really good, but it's not available. Uh, uh, however, again, to uh, just uh, reify that, uh, that people are going to get sick. The, it, it's natural. So uh, what we have to do when you get sick is to stay calm and isolate. And I'll do another video on what to do with a COVID uh, relative. But the, one of the ways to stay calm, especially middle of the night, if you get a tickle in your throat or you start to get a little bit hot, and remember that could be that uh, the psychological response to thinking you're gonna get sick, that you start to get hot. Uh, the, the, we have to maintain sleep, we have to eat properly, and we have to take care of our little ones and our uh, elderly. So I think that Skullcap does a great job with that. This is why I'll present a couple of papers. I'll try not to show these too long because it tends to screw up my white balance on my camera. But this is the first paper and there you go. So uh, this uh, showed that Skullcap, and it's a nice paper, I won't show it again, but uh, it, it, it goes through the breakdown of what Skullcap is as a plant and some uh, data from before, although small, but data from before with regards to HIV improvement, outcome improvement, and the use of uh, Skullcap with hepatitis C. Uh, hepatitis C is a flavivirus. It's different than coronavirus, but still a virus. So if you have no side effects, and I'll show you one paper with side effects at the end. If you have no side effects and you only have positive effects, why not? Especially if there's uh, help in decreasing anxiousness and helping with mood at the end. So uh, it's been used for centuries. In China, it's known as Hua Qing. Uh, I might have butchered that name, but uh, so Scutellaria or Skullcap is uh, a Chinese herb. It's m known to move splenic congestion if you uh, follow uh, Chinese medicine, uh, but it, I think it's proven its worthiness over the course of several centuries. So uh, that was that paper. This is, now if you, you are a sciencey person, you might want to see science, and this was a randomized double-blind crossover test showing a global improvement in mood. So if you do have, if you start to get into the science and epidemiology, it's important to have statistics. And uh, that paper that I just showed you, 
uh, essentially broke down the active ingredients uh, by Callen, by Calene uh, in Skullcap, the plant, and how the, those two substrates will help with perhaps binding um, uh, the one one theory is that it does help with global mood. I do have another paper where it showed that uh, the the active uh, act the action was to bind, uh, or at least that's the theory, to bind um, the uh, receptors for benzodiazepines or um, GABA receptors. And uh, for those of you who have tried Xanax for anxiety, works great. Uh, because it stimulates or it works on GABA. GABA is GABA amino butyric acid. Uh, don't worry about that. But there's a hormone in the brain that's, um, uh, that's responsible for inhibiting the excitation. And when you work to uh, inhibit excitation, then you are calm. And in the bottom line with this is that this herb with its active ingredients and substrates works to decrease the anxiousness by that action. I don't have to get into the details of that, but uh, if you can do it without using Xanax, which is behaviorally addictive, I'd say do it. Uh, the only problem is that there's different companies out there. I just happen to like uh, Nature's Way, especially the green tops. Uh, Nature's Way uh, is a, a reputable company. I have to go with um, my gut feeling and my experience with this because I usually refer to consumer labs, but they did not evaluate uh, skull cap. But again, if you look at the data and you find a plethora of great uh, studies and essentially a paucity of detrimental studies, I think it's a positive, especially in the outpatient setting. If we're going to go inpatient, then I mean, the, the typical, uh, th there's algorithms and protocols to follow uh, in the hospital, but we can do our part and I can help you with uh, calming down and working with getting past the infection. So um, again, this is, uh, I don't know if I showed this, uh, but this is another study that just backed up and supported the use for uh, enhancing global mood. Um, there's also uh, information, uh, flash this quick, information on uh, the effect of bicalin, and there was one interaction with uh, resuvastatin. So we're going to get into the side effects. One a study that showed there might be a problem when you take a cholesterol medicine. One study only, uh, but uh, it, 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 this the study I just showed you did help uh, or show help with uh, anxiousness and depression as well. But it also broke down the active ingredients. So another thing to support. Um, there's also other things that I have found online. Um, this is kind of cool. It's a, I don't know if this is the full paper. Oh, you know what? I think I tore it in half, sorry. But uh, I don't know where this paper came from. However, um, there was a report that showed that it did help with the brain theoretically by increasing tight junctions. And then that comes up, oh, that alludes to the secondary gain of this herb. If you do have something that increases the tight junctions, uh, tight junctions are uh, the spaces between the capillaries. So if you have a cell and a capillary uh, is a blood vessel and the blood brain barrier is a uh, cell, also one cell line that is tight together. And you can't get past unless you uh, uh, allow something, say in the gut, uh, there's also tight junctions in the gut. So if you have something in the gut and you want it to get in the bloodstream, you open the tight junction up and you close it. Uh, if you have something in the blood stream that you want, uh, or want to enter the bloodstream, you open the tight junction up and you close it. If you want to keep stuff out of the brain, you keep the tight junction closed. So sometimes when you have leaky gut, leaky brain, brain fog, you have just terrible tight junctions and anything can go in, giving you a superhuman response to anything like even a weird response to Advil, re response to Benadryl, all, uh, all the side effects if you take a prescription. I think that's from a leaky gut and a brain fog kind of deal. Well, this had shown that it upregulates tight junctions. I forgot about that. My teacher at the Arizona Center for Integrative Medicine, Dr. Tirona Lodog, uh, American Indian uh, descendant, she taught about scutellaria. She called it scoot. And uh, it's uh, just 
positive all around with very little negative side effects. And thus the reason why it would be important to try it, especially because Xanax is uh, addictive behaviorally, and there's not that much else out there. You don't want to be starting too many medicines during this time of COVID because of fear of side effects, but yet you want to calm, especially when the hysteria starts in the community. So I think this is great. So I would do the, this. Let's, let's just go ahead and unbox this, show you the size of the pill. I would try this one capsule twice a day. I think twice a day is reasonable. So let me just do what I usually do. Not so bad as far as the smell. That's the size of the capsule. <clears throat> so I don't have any water to take this. Or if you don't like uh, Scutellaria in capsule form, you can use uh, extract. Extract is when you drop it under the tongue. Uh, or you sometimes have to mix this with, uh, if it's alcohol based, you have to mix the extract with uh, water or fluid of some sort. If it's uh, sugar based, then you have to do it that way. And that's why it was a deal breaker for me to keep on going with extract because I fast. So to take this in the daytime would break my fast since technically there's sugar in it. And I just want to mention inositol powder. This was something I was going to talk about to calm the brain. And it works great at high dose in powder form if you take it three, four times a day. So it might be good for kids, but it's a powder. It's a pain in the ass to do that and mix it. It's just a lot versus just doing this. So this will not um, turn on the glycemic, uh, the insulin response like, like the extract will. This was easy to take twice a day. Uh, the inositol powder is nice uh, in studies and with low side effects, but it is sugar. So it, it, a form of sugar and will turn on your insulin response. So it'll be deal, it's a deal breaker for me. Uh, so I mentioned that there was one study that showed a bad report. This was a case study. So just to play devil's advocate, there's an adverse side effect of liver backup, but it was only one study and the study was very poorly done. It, it had uh, the, the case report of the person that was under investigation with the liver backup. He was also using two other herbs. So they didn't say which of the herbs was the problem, but Skullcap was in there and was hypothesized it was a side effect. Uh, so uh, this also, is, oh, this is where the this is where the leaky gut information came from. In case you guys have leaky gut or brain fog, uh, check into that one. So uh, that's something that you can do. I'll do another video on what to do if your family member comes down with COVID. But there, it's a normal reaction to be anxious, especially these times, especially if you have a cough. I had one tickle the other day. It's like, oh, I've got the I've got the virus. But again, most people will do fine with the virus. My plead is that this is going to be with us for a while and there'll probably be a vaccine sooner or later, but that will probably be the only thing, just like smallpox, the vaccine will probably be the only thing that will put this into a, a small population or eliminate 100%, but that's not around soon. So I fear that even if we get released back into the public and shelter in place uh, gets eased up in time, we have to go 30 days at a time. It's very arduous to to it, 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 I say, I, I'd say it's very anxiety causing to figure out when am I going to be able to go out? When can I make more money uh, or get back to getting a paycheck? When can I go see my relatives again? When can I hug my kids? Uh, so uh, because of a big question mark on that, it does cause anxiety, which is a really good reason why you should try to reach out to behavioral health. If those of you who have insurance, behavioral health, uh, will do an evaluation and work as your coach via internet, hopefully. My, my psychologist does do internet uh, counseling, so she's awesome. I'll put the link down below. <clears throat> but if you have don't have those options, if you don't have a, a uh, say, a, a pastor or an elder that you can talk to and get guidance from via internet, and we have to keep social distance, then this might be an option for you uh, to take twice a day, at least to start. You always have to ask your doctor. This is not a uh, substitute for uh, medical advice. For my patients, maybe, but uh, portal me first on the advocate uh, portal. Otherwise, hopefully this gives you an option to investigate. That's what we need now. In the hospital, our, our protocols and algorithms are great, but we have to do our part to help decrease and flatten the curve and help the stop of the spread. The doctors out in California that own that immediate care center, uh, the seven branches, I think they were foolish by announcing that it's okay to go out. I think it just starts uh, questioning and polarizes the community. Uh, there's no questions that this is a bad virus. We're still learning about it, 
But when you break the law, which is going to be not following the suggested executive orders, hey, uh, you're going to cause a problem or a ripple effect later on. Uh, so we'll have to see where this week goes as far as people that might have gone out and uh, let their guard down. I hope that the surge is not going to come up. Uh, again, our hospitals so far are okay, but if there's a whole flood of people that go from my office and all other primary care offices and the Medicare care centers to the hospital, we're going to have a problem. The higher the surge, the more the death. So do your part um, and then try to stay home and follow the rules. Don't break the rules and stay healthy. This is definitely a plea to reverse your disease. Uh, there's still higher acuity and death from heart disease in one year than the amount of COVID deaths so far this year. So we still have to try to be healthy. So stay safe, um, stay healthy and subscribe.